Coca-Cola Beverages SA says it respects the rights of its workers to protest, but those employees will not be paid for the days they are absent. The strike amenities from a, emanates from a wage negotiation gone wrong, and employees affiliated with the National Union of Food, Beverage, Wine, Spirits and Allied Workers are unhappy about working conditions. Now, some of those on the front lines include artisans, clerks, cleaners and general workers in companies that fall under the Coke stable. ENCA reporter Shonim Timkulu has more. The number for this wage dispute is 4.8%, but it's not actually the number that is the problem. Instead, consensus on working conditions is what is at stake with the National Union of Food, Beverage, Wine, Spirits and Allied Workers not happy with the shift rotation system put in place by Coca-Cola Beverages SA. Sunday is now regarded as a normal working day. Do you get my point? We've got family members, we've got the relatives. You may have funerals, you may have weddings. Do you get my point? The family weddings that are to take place. But if you're not at work, to get what you're, you're told to produce proof. It's not mandatory to come to work on a public holiday. It's not mandatory to come to work on Sunday. But here, they want to compel you to come on Sunday. If you don't, you must produce valid reasons. But the situation is difficult for the protesters as another group in the company, the Food and Allied Workers Union, has signed off on the contentious terms. Um, and we had to go back to say to the union that unfortunately, what they are trying to get us to change does not make sense at this stage. Like I said, these terms and conditions of employment have been in existence for the past 10 years, even before Coca-Cola Beverages uh, Africa merged, right? And they've been there. And they've been signed with our the majority union, which is the Food and Allies Workers Union. Workers are permitted to protest and have promised to do so for as long as they have to. But the employer is also not backing down and won't give in to the workers' demands. We unfortunately cannot go back on a decision that has been made, that we have applied our minds to, and that we fully believe that it is in the best interest of not only our employees, but also in the best interest of the company. This dispute also means that striking workers have not enjoyed the benefit of the 4.8% increase that came into effect in April. Like, we, we, are, we are stressed. Okay, fine. We got credit. We got a lot, lot, lot of things that we have to look after. We got families. We got life. We got kids. We got parents. We got people who depend on us. And then we said, no, for us to, to live under such conditions, it, it, it's better we live even the, the increase. Workers are permitted to protest here from 8 a.m. until 4 p.m. until the strike is called off. Shonim Timkulu, Johannesburg.